Hey, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Sea Force, a force of nature by Chuck Norris. This is Chuck Norris's own brand of water. Next up is Kona Deep. This is Hawaiian water from 3,000 feet below the ocean's surface. And so what do these two have in common? Uh, they've got a similar shaped bottle. Uh, they're both one liter. They both have a high pH level, and these both have mostly positive reviews. And um, I'm looking forward to both of these waters. I'm pretty thirsty and looking forward to these two. And I, I got both of these waters from Utah from my recent vacation. The Chuck Norris water was from Maverick's gas station, and it was $2. The Kona water was from Sprouts like Farmer's Market, and this was also $2. So... Similar sh shaped bottles and same price. So let's open these up and do a taste test comparison. Uh, the famous water reviewer Martin Rees said that Sea Force has a smell to it. He says it smells somewhat like cherries. So I'm going to open this up and see if I smell anything. Hmm, maybe, it's very mild. I was expecting like a stronger cherry. If I wasn't looking for it, I don't think I would have noticed any, any cherry smell to it. And uh, Martin Reese says this also has an olive oil texture. And one of the, uh, you know, famous water reviewers, Taste This Review is on Instagram. He called this water one of his favorite artisan waters which makes me also even more excited to review this so here we go let's taste this water yeah it does have like the the cherry taste to it like the the sweeter it's like not a salty taste it's like a sweet uh like almost like a fruit flavor to it it's what Martin Reese commented on it. Martin Reese said it has like an olive oil texture to it. Maybe a little bit like, like, a, like, a, like a heavier water. Um, I wouldn't have used the term olive oil texture, but maybe like a heavier water I would describe it as. And a cool thing about this water is a portion of the proceeds go to charity. Chuck Norris has a charity called Kickstart Youth. And I don't know what percentage goes to that, but some percentage does. This company is woman-owned. It's uh, Chuck Norris's wife, I think, started this. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good water, actually. This water is from Chuck Norris's ranch he has a ranch in texas and this is where the water is from apparently it's filtered through volcanic rock and it's from just under his ranch so just apparently coincidentally chuck norris's ranch happens to have good tasting water it doesn't really have any nutritional information on it which makes me believe that it's not altered in any, any way. If they put the nutritional information on the bottle, it, it kind of shows that uh, they altered it. I think that's according to like the FDA. If if you alter the water, you have to put the nutritional information on it. But I don't see any any nutritional info on this. So apparently, it's just straight from the source. I think I might be wrong on that. Okay, the Kona deep water, and this is water that's from deep inside the ocean, 3,000 feet below the surface, and they say they use a mile-long pipe to pump this water out of, like, inside the ocean. And they say they have a high pH level, a 6.6 .6 pH level. And they say that this water has never seen light and has never seen human contamination and is extremely cold maybe it wouldn't be cold if it was in a hot area but anyway they say because of this 
It's naturally pure. Desalinate the water in order to make it safe to drink. Because they desalinate it, it has nutritional information. That's what I was talking about before. Because they alter it in a way, they have to have the nutritional information. And the nutritional information has zero for everything except for the sodium. So there's a little bit of sodium in it. They just do that to make it safe to drink. That's why they desalinate it. And they, they say that, on the website, they say that a study performed by the University of Arizona School of Medicine found that the Kona Deep hydrates you twice as fast as regular spring water. So it's like a university study, so it must be true, right? No, no smell at all to this. Like, less of the sweet flavor to it. This is like... It's like less of the sweet flavor and less of the olive oil texture to it. There's a guy on YouTube called Tim Joe who did a review of this water, and apparently he hates this water. He says it has a horrible taste. He says it's zero out of 12 stars we are doing a review on this piece of shit water bottle right here this anyway i give the taste on this water a zero out of 12. he just did a whole video just talking crap about this water but i'm drinking it and it tastes pretty good to me yeah a few people have recommended i drink this and um it's pretty good it's a pretty good water so this is chuck norris's water I'm playing some Chuck Norris clips on the TV behind me. I don't know if you can see that or not. Chuck Norris is like a famous action star. I think the thing he's most known for is Walker, Texas Ranger. And the thing I love about that is the show Late Night with Conan O'Brien, he used to do this segment. It was called the Walker, Texas Ranger Lever. Like as soon as NBC got the rights to use Walker, Texas Ranger... Conan wanted to use those clips and he would um, have this lever next to him and he would just pull it and he would play a clip from Walker, Texas Ranger. It was always like <clears throat> really obscure, you know, ridiculous clips. <laughs> Chuck Norris is known for is his little uh, jokes facts about Chuck Norris for example one time Chuck Norris went skydiving and his parachute failed to open so Chuck took it back the next day for a refund Badooch. when Chuck Norris enters into a courtroom the judge stands for him when learning CPR Chuck Norris actually brought the practice dummy to life you know this was popular on the internet like 10 years ago all these chuck norris jokes chuck norris can speak braille chuck norris can unscramble eggs when chuck norris has cereal <laughs> he pours the milk and then he pours the cereal and then he places the bowl <laughs> on the table Okay, let's uh, let's do a pH test of the waters. Here we go. Okay, here's the results of the pH test. They both claim to have a high pH level. I'm colorblind, so you guys look at the chart and decide for yourself which, you know, color they match up with. But I think the Seaforce one has the higher pH level. But what do you guys think? I think the Kona Deep one does also have a sweet taste to it. But I think it's just less sweet of a taste than the Sea Force. Just like a more of a mild sweet taste to it. I mean, this one almost tastes like they added artificial, like, sweetener to it. Like, it doesn't even... Almost doesn't taste like water, really. These are both good waters. Both get high thumbs up from me. You know, both uh, fairly attractive bottles. You know, good branding, good design, good everything. But my review is just mainly on the taste. And in my opinion, I think the uh, Kona Deepwater is the winner. 
and just tastes a little bit better to me in my opinion. So this is moving on to the next round. Congratulations, Kona Deep. Um, we've got some backup waters for the next round. But these are kind of difficult for me to get. The Sea Force water, for example, is only on the, you know, the Midwest. It's not really... Neither of these are in stores near me. So if this makes it really far, it's going to be hard for me to get some more of these. I'll have to go on another trip to get more of them. Um... Hey, what do you guys think about my room? I, re I rearranged it. I got a TV. Um, yeah. Normally, like, throughout my life, I rearrange my room, like, twice a year, you know, normally. But then this last arrangement where I had the bed in the corner, and, um, you know, just living down here, I had the bed in the corner for, like, three years I think I had that set up for for a long time so this is uh you know the first time I've rearranged it in a long time anyway how, how's everything going with you guys everything good um damn you <laughs> and damn me for bringing it into this world <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a good day, everybody.